Hello, let's do intercepts. So we'll do it for the function g of x is equal to 2 over x plus 2. As we continue with the same function, we say our x-intercept is when g of x is equal to 0. So we say 0 is equal to 2 over x plus 2. We manipulate the equation. We change our signs. As we move the 2 across to the left, we have to change it from a positive sign to a negative sign. We then multiply by x on both sides. This gives us minus 2x is equal to 2. Because the x's cancel. Now we divide both sides by minus 2. The 2's cancel, the negatives change signs. And you're left with x is equal to minus 1. So our point would be minus 1, 0, because we said when y is equal to 0, we're finding the x-intercept. So we have minus 1, 0. That's one of our intercepts. It's the y-intercept. In this case, we say x is equal to 0. We simply sub it in. We say g of x, or maybe g of 0. So g of x is equal to 2 over x plus 2. Now we say g of naught is equal to 2 over naught plus 2. And as we can see, that that answer would be undefined. So let's sub it in. We have 2 over 0, so we have 7 is 0, we we'll say 2 over 0, which we know is undefined. This gives us an undefined answer, and therefore we will not have a y-intercept. So we say it's undefined. And this means that there is an asymptote at this point. So at x equals 0, there's an asymptote. But we've already established that earlier on. And there we go.